Okay, it's a very crappy kind of day out here. It's March 27th. Uh, it rained this morning, and now it's kind of cold and windy and gross, which yesterday was a beautiful day, and there was an auction, or today's not the 27th, today's the 28th. Yesterday was the 27th to an auction and usually it's our annual spring consignment sale and usually it's this kind of a day for that sale but yesterday was beautiful nothing but sunshine and it was like 70 degrees it was beautiful and uh, we uh, we managed to drag home some goodies so I'll show you the couple that I have outside here the first one I just pulled in the driveway with it is this uh, Kilborough's model 350 gravity wagon um, mounted on the uh, the good old farmer farmer classic chassis here um, uh, chopped down truck frame homemade wagon bed deal but hey for the price I paid for it it ain't that bad um, the wagons not in the greatest shape but it has liner in it so it'll uh, it'll haul the little bit of grain that I'm gonna haul with it and I can always patch that up if I wanted to but uh, I'm not a fan of the chassis it's on it pulls great but I just I've never had a chassis like this so I don't know how I feel about it I pulled it at 45 mile an hour though um, we're gonna run it like this um, if the wagon upon further inspection the bed seems to be good we might try to find an actual wagon chassis for it because all I can find for rust is just right around the door on both sides I don't know what it would look like under the liner on the inside. I mean, there's not even any rust there, really. So the, the bed's in decent shape. Um, it'll work for what I need it for. I just needed something to haul grain if I decide to combine myself this year. Um, because the gravity wagon I have would take too many trips. So I came across that. It was like the last gravity wagon to sell. and. I, I bought it. It was fairly cheap. So um, I do like that it's got dual wheels on the back. So that way, if one blows out, I still have one to limp home. I bid on one that had a dual, it was an actual pup style trailer, and it had dual wheels on the front. It had uh, dual wheels on the front, but it went for more than I wanted to pay. It had a bigger bed on it, and I was kind of worried about my dually being able to, to stop it. So. I, I seen this one and thought it was was good. I do need to modify the tongue a little bit I don't like how they got that piece scabbed in there The pen doesn't go all the way through it kind of halfway goes through so I'm gonna take and cut that Chunk out of there and bend that back up. I might even cut the top piece off notch that frame and lower it a little bit uh, Just because I don't like the way the way it is so there's one of the items I bought I bought uh, not quite a truckload, but I bought a few things. So we'll come over here. We'll show you the inside stuff first. It was a pretty good turnout. They had more stuff there than I ever figured they would, and they had a heck of a crowd. They probably had at least a thousand people there. It was definitely busy. So here is the second item I bought. It's an Ingersoll Rand 100 air compressor. Now it does not run. Typical. I buy stuff that does not run. Um, it hasn't run in a while probably. The diesel fuel smells like fuel oil. But I looked it over really good and I can't seem to find anything that could be majorly wrong with it. Um, I don't know why it hasn't been used in a while. I mean the, the on off switch is stuck. But the push button works, that button, but that that's stuck. Um, the hours, I'd have to take this plate off, which I'll take this plate off and clean it out. But I think 
what I can see is like a thousand hours ish probably closer to 2000 but I can't tell I seen a one but I got this for a steal I think if it works um, it, I paid less for it than what I thought I was or I paid less for it than what I wanted to pay for it so that's that's a steal in my book because I had to pay more for some other items that I bought um, after I get done shooting this video of what I bought I'm gonna clean the barn out and this is gonna go in there and we're gonna tinker with it so oh, I also got this stainless steel hog trough paid two dollars for this trough and two dollars for that big pig feeder over there and I actually didn't even have to pay for it dad messed up and put it under my cousin's number so he paid for him and he never stopped to collect his four dollars from me but I I'm gonna keep the little stainless feeder this big feeder I don't need it's, it was two dollars I mean I can sell it for ten and be happy so a lot of people are using them as flower beds now but this one ain't bad shape. A couple of the doors are beat up and it's got a, a whammy in it right here. But you could beat that whammy out and be like a brand new pig feeder. So I did buy that wagon but not at an auction. I bought that from a friend. Probably going to sell it. I really don't need it. It gave me a good price on it. and I was kind of thinking about using it as a header cart. But we'll see. I'll put my lid down on this one. Then we'll go inside the barn and I'll show you the other two items I bought. I bought two pig feeders. I had four on my ticket. I bought six things. So when I I was under my budget I set for the auction until it come time to pay taxes and the stupid 10% buyer's premium which put me $20.48 over my budget but I got the three main items I went there for which was the air compressor and the two I'm about to show you um, I had plans of updating some farm machinery um, but all that stuff sold too high that I wanted to update so I needed a gravity wagon and I got that so another item I bought is this concrete saw cart and it come with a concrete saw now per usual it needs a little work um, I don't know if there's anything wrong with the saw but they have the pull rope off of it and the belt I have the guard and everything for it here nah blade it needs a belt the starter cup which also acts as the clutch or the pulley for the belt and the recoil and then we'll go from there it has um, the bolts in it for a guide wheel I don't have the guide wheel or the depth wheel for this I can order it it's sixty dollars off eBay so when I find that the saw is good or bad or whatever we will uh, go from there. I gave $160 for that setup. Um, the cart. On eBay, they're wanting like $300 for used ones. I found a place that was selling them. I don't know if it was accurate or not, but for $138 with the tank. Um, so I guess I got a good deal on that. I mean, if the partner saw works and is good, you can't buy a partner saw for $160. So, and then the most expensive item I bought was this plate tamp, and it runs. It just needs an air filter assembly, a ground pounder compactor. I gave $350 for that. I gave $160 for the air compressor. I didn't tell you that. And for my gravity wagon, I paid $225. So, give you an idea what I paid for everything. Um, but that works. I didn't have it running. I couldn't get it running before they sold it and then after I bought it I went over there and gave it three pulls and it fired right up so that's good and I think it had about a full tank of fuel if I remember right well not quite but what I got to do I got to do some cleanup and uh, do some flip flopping of equipment I got my M running um, no video on that I just got it running one day I uh got busy working on stuff and it got put together and is working so I might update you on that and uh, yeah 
it's what I bought from the auction. So it was a pretty good, pretty good day. Had fun and uh, hopefully got a really good deal on some stuff. Hopefully that air compressor works, the saw works. So if if that stuff works, it'll have been a successful trip and I'll be happy with that. So anyways, we'll catch you guys on the next one.